Okay, my number one piece of advice here is don't try and memorize the equation. Uh, you'll get it upside down or confused. Use your common sense. So if you expected to make 160 grams, but you only made 40 grams, that's 25% yield, isn't it? Think of it like that. If you insist on the equation, the percent yield is the experimental yield, what you've got in your experiment, divided by a theoretical yield, what you'd get in a perfect world, multiplied by 100. Just, but don't remember it. Just work it out from first principles every time. Okay, let's look at an example. 780 grams of arsine <laughs> decomposes into its elements, producing 675 grams of arsenic. So what's my percent yield? Well, you're not expected to know what arsine, it <laughs> arsine is. So uh, there's the decomposition equation. And I'm gonna label moles, which is mass over molar mass. Don't forget the units in case you forget later. Maybe the IB will give you credit for it. 780 grams goes there, 675, no, oh my, that's utterly wrong, no, do not put that number in there, but that's the experimental yield, it doesn't say experimental yield, I don't know what to tell you, that's the experimental yield, it's wrong to put it there, the, the number you get from the table is the theoretical yield, what you get in a perfect world, so this table gives you the theoretical yield, I put a little star there because that's the number I want to work out. Do some simple stoichiometry. 2 is to 10 as 2 is to 10. Alrighty. So that gives me 750 grams in a perfect world. My theoretical yield is from the table. So just remember, they both begin with T. Alrighty then. So in my head, I'm thinking I expected 750 grams, but I made seven, uh, 675 grams. So that's a 90% yield. And if you want to do it, memorizing the equation, there you go. All right then, let's try another example. In the equation below, 40 grams of bromine is used and gives a 70% yield. So I want to know the theoretical yield of potassium bromide. They used to put that allegedly in the T in the English army so that people wouldn't feel sexy. It's a, it's a libido suppressant. I can't imagine being in a war is sexy. Anyway, so I balanced the equation right out there for you. Put in those little labels. Moles is mass over molar mass. Pop the 40 grams in for bromine. And that star, that's the box I want to fill in. The theoretical, from the table, potassium bromide. So 1 is to 0.25, as 2 is to 0.5, that's the ratio line, top line. And mass is moles times molar mass. So I'm looking at 59.5 grams. That's my theoretical yield in a perfect world of potassium bromide. Now the question said that I only got 70% of that. So I expected 59.5 grams, but I only got 70%. So 70% of 59.5 is 41.7 grams. So that's my experimental yield. Sonic went wrong along the way. It wasn't a perfect experiment. So what if my percent yields less than 100%? Well, you've probably lost some of the chemicals, reactants or products, or there are side reactions, other chemical reactions going on that you didn't account for. And if your yield's greater than 100%, that's magic or your product is contaminated, probably you didn't dry it properly or something like that. 